Hi all, in this video, let's learn about JavaScript ES14 new features. So the first feature is array last. So what it is, like let's discuss. So here we have an is even an arrow function numbers array. We may we know about find and find index. So these are the traditional way of find and find index. So it will search the elements from the first to last, like left to right. Okay, find and find index. What does find says? So it says like it want to find an even number. Okay, it is taking this number array. Find is like a, a method. It, it takes a callback function. It passes each and every number. Okay, and it takes a two as a number. So it is trying to get the even number. Now it got as a two. So this one it would be getting. Find means it will find a number. It would be returned back. Find index means similar to that, but it will return the index. See the index like zero, one. So it returned the index. So already we have find and find index. Okay, to have the counterpart for that, find last and find last index was introduced. So what here th this will do is like, it will do the search from the reverse. So it means from last to first, like the search will be in a reverse order. It will search from uh, right to left or last to first, okay? Now here find last means it will find this four as a last, like this is a even number, okay? And what is the index? Like a find last index of the even number is three. So zero, one, two, three, the index is three, fine. So this find last and find last index are the new methods introduced uh, for the ES14. And these are the counterparts for the find and find index. It will start, start searching from the last. So that is the first feature. Coming to the second feature, that is array immutable methods. So it's like, you know, like sort is a function. In uh, array has a uh, array prototype has sort method, right? And now this new immutable methods. So there are four immutable methods introduced. One is to sort it. So you have an array, okay? And if you do something like this, okay? The normal sort function, what it does, it returns true because this sort applies, modifies to the original array. This is a sort which is already, we know about this. This is an old sort method and uh, it will sort the existing, like uh, it, it, it is like an array prototype sort method. It will modify the original array. It will mute the original array. That is the difference between this sort and to be sorted. So this to be sorted, to sorted, what it does is it will not modify the original array, it will return back the new array. That is what it does. So what is the difference between this sort and to sorted is sort will modify the original array, to sorted will not modify the original array. That is the only difference. That's the reason we call these methods as immutable methods to be sorted. So the similar way we have to reversed, okay? To reversed also the same way, okay? It will not modify the original array, it will return back the new new one, new array. And uh, the counter, like we have array prototype reverse method also. Already we have this method in arrays, but it will modify the original array. So that these are the differences. Like what, when you're learning about two reverse, you may un see that reverse is already having that in uh, arrays. So why two reverse was introduced? Because it will not modify the original array. That's the reason it was introduced. So two sorted, to reversed in the same way to spliced. So this is also same as spliced, splice method. We have right splice method. So in the same way, to spliced also is there, which will also not modify the original array. It will return back the new array. With Along with this, there is one more new thing was added that is width method. So this is a width, this method, what does it do? It will only update a single element for the given index, okay? Uh, and it will return back the new array anyways. And uh, what is this? Like uh, the original array we take and with two in the second index, you are trying to replace 99. Okay. So now in the replaced index, what happens in the original three is there, right? In the replaced index, in the place of two, like in the index of two, you are placing 99. So it is, it only updates a single element, a single given index. It only updates a single element. This is the functionality of the with method. Okay, as usually, this is also an immutable method. It returns a new array. So these are the four new immutable methods we got. To sorted, to reverse, to spliced, and with methods.
Okay, this is a second feature we have. And the coming to the third feature, this is a hash bank. We call this as hash bank. And it also we call as a shebang as well. Okay, what does it mean? Like, uh, let me explain. So if you have a file, like say this, hello.sh. So if you have a file like hello.sh shell script, you need to define something like this. This is an uh, interceptor. So it's like you're saying what it is like a bash bash script like that you you are saying that what it is okay so if you have this and this echo in the hello.sh file if you run this file in the bash script so it will execute this and it will return back this one so this is the usual use case okay and this this bash script was introduced was given to javascript now so with this what you can do is we can run this node.js program from the command line with the help of this hash bank, what we can do, we can run this. This is a node program. So this you can run in the, like uh, from the console also you can write, from the command line you can run. What does it represent? So if you write something like hash and exclamatory mark, what it represents is, it says that this is an interceptor, okay? And this is an argument for that interceptor, okay? Now you can run with the help of this hash bank, what is we can do is you can run the node.js program in the command line from the command line okay so it means like how we can do that so for example like uh, to run this like if you define something like this an interceptor with the node you can just run like this this uh, node application be like this would be printed okay which is similar to this so usually we if you write any of the node uh, node program to execute that what you do you say node and hello js this is what you do but with this hash bank you if you just mention this it will run so this is same as this okay yep this is the third feature which is of hash bank and it is also called as a shebang coming to the fourth feature so this is all about the weak maps and uh, the symbols okay earlier for the weak maps so you have weak maps here so the key whatever the key you are mentioning for the weak maps is only objects you can only use objects in the place of keys for the weak maps. Earlier it was the case. But for ES14, from ES14, we have the capability we can use symbols. Symbols are the primitive, like a primitive data type, primitive symbol, where it can be identified uniquely. So why this key should be unique means it helps in terms of garbage collection, okay? This is more about garbage collection, but only one thing we need to understand or learn here is, here earlier we are giving object, but now we can give the symbol. That is a thing. And where garbage collector can uniquely identify this back, this map in a garbage collection. Okay. To understand more about this symbols, yeah, I have done a dedicated video on uh, ES6 symbols. You can uh, check this out. I will put this in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.